Meet Melinda. Melinda is looking for a companion in life. But not just any companion. She wants one who is loyal and sweet and sits when you say sit. And that's right, Melinda is looking for a dog. And just like every other dog buyer, she is looking for the perfect dog. Pure bread, more temperament, friendly, not too hyper, but not too docile. This dog needs to be trainable, cute, cuddly, and it needs to not shed. Great qualities for a dog. But how does one achieve the perfect dog? You see, what Melinda doesn't understand is that in order to get these specific traits, breeders must handpick what animals to breed. This is called selective breeding. And while it can come with reward of a perfect dog, it can also come with consequences, such as health problems or physical defects. These issues caused by overbreeding are a problem within the breeding community today. It is my hope to help spread awareness to Melinda and other dog buyers, as well as those breeding dogs, issues of overbreeding and help describe what can be done to prevent this. Overbreeding and the health problems associated are typically caused by inbreeding. This usually happens when a breeder is attempting to breed purebred animals. It also happens when a breeder tries to recreate a specific trait over and over. However, just as with humans, inbreeding puts one at higher risk for physical or mental disformities, which can be detrimental to the human or animal's life. For example, the Labrador Retriever are one of, if not number one, sought after dog in America today. They have traits that people like and will pay for, and breeders see that. This, however, has led to the overbreeding of this breed. They are now prone to ailments such as hip dysplasia and other disabilitating diseases. Due to their high popularity, irresponsible breeders may continue breeding these animals with these physical ailments in hopes of retaining their other desirable genes. However, breeding animals already born with mental or physical disformities can pass along these traits to their kin. This leads to a vicious cycle that eventually weeds out important traits that have been disregarded due to the search for specific traits. It also leads to high chance of these ailments within animals. This is what breeders, as well as buyers, need to be picky when it comes to breed. How should I go about purchasing a dog then? How can I avoid supporting overbreeding? Great question, Melinda. When searching for the perfect dog, you should be willing to do research on what dog breeds have what traits. Determine which dogs have the best traits for you. Once you have a list, you are ready to begin your search. First consider whether or not you would be willing to take a shelter animal. This way, you can not only support your local shelter and save the life of a wonderful animal, but you can also avoid the supporting of overbreeding. If taking in a shelter animal is not for you, that is okay. It is a big commitment and one not everyone is willing to make. And if you choose the breeder route, you can begin by searching for ethical and reputable breeder. This can be done either via internet or through a referral from your local veterinarian. There are many breeders out there that breed for money or to achieve a perfect pedigree. But there are many breeders who care about the dog and have done research and understand what is best for the animal. One sign that a dog came from an irresponsible breeder is that they sell through a pet store or some other means that does not give you the chance to meet them face to face or meet the animal before committing to taking them in. You want to be able to meet the breeder in person in order to determine what kind of person they are and if they are interested in the good of the animal. There are many checklists out there that can help you determine what to look for when meeting a breeder to determine if they are good enough. Good breeders should also have knowledge of the breed's general traits, health, life expectancy, etc. So once finding a breeder, feel free to ask questions. A breeder who cannot answer general questions about the breed may not be the best choice. So the breeder should be reputable, relatively friendly, knowledgeable, and passionate about the dog. Looking for these traits and following the aforementioned guidelines will help you stay clear of those who overbreed such as puppy meals, etc. Now as a viewer, you may be asking, what can I do to help? Actually, you can do a lot. Apply the knowledge given to you today when buying a new dog. You can also do research and educate yourself further on the topic. You can also help spread the word, tell others about the issue, and recommend this video to others. Helping to educate others will helpfully spark a change within the breeding community to help prevent overbreeding. It will allow future dog owners to make educated decisions about where to get a new dog.